Today, let's build a simple sporting goods storage cabinet. I started by determining the volume of equipment to be stored. After that was calculated, I designed it in Fusion 360 to create plans that I could build from. I wanted this to be a fast and simple build. The top rails could be 2x2s or something similar. I had some squared out 2x4s that I ripped into two pieces and cut to length. Then I used 3 quarter inch plywood for the sides, shelves, and for the batch shelf and supports. Half inch plywood was used for the back. I marked off locations for the holes to run the bungee cords through. I recently got a Craig Multimark tool and I found it to be very handy to mark points consistently and other uses around the shop. When drilling the holes, it works best to have a sacrificial piece underneath to minimize breakout around the hole. I didn't show it in the video, but I had drilled these about 90% through and finished the hole from the opposite side as another approach to reduce breakout. The top rail bungee holes include a larger counterbore to nest the ends of the bungees. My garage is kind of a mess. You can see that in the background of my videos. So that has been a focus for my projects lately. But I still have a lot of work to do in that area, but this project should be a good start. I wanted this project to organize all the larger sporting balls, frisbees, and bats that we have. I made another basic cabinet off camera that will store softballs, baseballs, and other equipment. This video focuses on the bat and larger ball storage. Most joints use the combination of pocket holes and glue. I really wanted to make this a fast and easy project. So the focus here was on function. Although I did do some simple things like position the pocket holes facing sides where they aren't as visible. I measured the cabinet corner to corner to make sure it was square. The back was glued and I used nails to hold it in place. The pneumatic nail gun is a relatively new tool for me and helped this project get completed much faster. I had been nailing the old fashioned way until recently. I could have knotted both ends of the bungees, but instead just cut the hooks off on one side to install the bungees. I nested the plastic end in the top rail and used the vice grip to hold the free end while I knotted it. You can easily experiment with different tensions on the bungee cords. Generally you want it just tight enough that the weight of the balls won't open them up and fall out. This design is able to fit seven bats. The diameter of the handle varies for bats depending on the size and type. 
I drilled the holes for the bats, then cut slots from the edge to the hole for the bat to slide in. I did a few different widths to account for a, a few unique bats that we had. Using the table saw to cut the slots worked well, but it's a must to have a piece over the slots to ensure the cutoff doesn't become a projectile. Using a jigsaw would be another good way to cut the slots. The supports for the shelf were glued on and held in place with nails while it dried. The bat shelf was also secured to the cabinet with glue and nails. I do love that nail gun. After some sanding, the project was finished. I'm happy with how it turned out. The bats now have an organized place to be stored. We keep frisbees on the bottom shelf. It also keeps all the balls in one place and makes them easy to access. As a bonus, the kids love shooting the balls in the top, so I guess it can be fun to be organized. Thanks for watching. Please add your comments below and like and subscribe to the channel.